glorious things are spoken of you. In Psalms 87 verse 3, it says, Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. In a world of negativities, self-doubt and low self-esteem, it is very important that you listen to the voice that is speaking well of you. God says beautiful, wonderful, and glorious things are spoken of you. What are those things God has spoken of you? In Matthew chapter 5, he says, You are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. You are the light of the world. Just imagine how the world will be without light. This shows how important you are. You are a city that is set on a hill. God created you and made you a high city to lighten the world. When they see the wonder that you are, they will give glory to your Father who is in heaven. You are destined to do good works. Therefore, let the world see your good works. In the world where people are trying to conform to the darkness of the world, be the agent of transformation. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. The Apostle Paul was speaking in Philippians 2 verse 15. He says that you may become blameless and harmless children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as lies in the world. Arise and shine in the midst of any darkness. Light is glorious and that light is you. Number two, you are the salt of the earth. Salt is used for preservation and to add flavor to food. You are the wonderful seasoning God has placed on this earth. Without you, there is a sense of flavor that will be missing in the world. When all the children of God leave this earth, there will be no flavor. When all the children of God leave this earth, the earth is doomed for destruction. Don't ever lose your saltiness. You make the world sweet. Imagine the earth without salt. You are so important. That's why you are in this world. Don't ever look down on yourself again. In 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, he says, But you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Number three, you are a chosen generation. You are God's choice. It doesn't matter who rejected you. You are chosen by God. You are among the few that are chosen. In Matthew 22 verse 14, Say, for many are called, but few are chosen. 
Now, Lord Jesus Christ says, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. God has chosen you and has given you the ability to produce lasting fruits. He has also given you the authority in his name so that you can always get whatsoever you want. This is glorious. Number four, you are a royal priest. You are a priest with royalty. You have the liberty to approach God and minister to Him. In Isaiah chapter 61, verse 6, He says, You will be called priests of the Lord, ministers of our God. You will feed on the treasures of the nations and boast in their riches. Apostle John, who got the revelation of who you are before God said, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Number five, you are a holy nation. You are a saint. Don't live less than who you are. In 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30, he said, But of him you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, and righteousness, and sanctification, and redemption. You are the redeemed of the Lord in Christ Jesus. You are the sanctified of the Lord. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15, he says, But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. Start living like who God says you are. You are holy. Number six, you are God's special person. You are a special person to God. Jesus would rather die than to allow the devil have you. You are the love of God. God loves you with an everlasting love. And God speaking to Jeremiah, he says, They shall be my people. And I will be their God, who once were not a people, but are now the people of God, who had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Because you are God's special person, you can always assess his mercy. Number seven, you have a glorious inheritance preserved in heaven for you. Where God says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God through faith for salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. May you inherit all of these glorious things and more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May God help you to know your true worth in Him, in Jesus' name. Amen.